Hi, this is a third video talking about column ledger accounts, but this time I'm going to show you how to go that last step to get to the trial balance. Now, I've completed all the entries into 149 that was in the previous um, exercise that I've done. I've, I've completed all of those, I've posted all of those entries into um, my spreadsheet here, which is the ledger. Now, what I've done. I've double clicked in there and typed in ledger and then I produced a new um, sheet but then I double clicked into it there and typed in trial balance and what I've done here I've started up my trial balance and let's just see I've got to put in the date uh, a bigger part I've got to put in the, na the name the trial balance as at it would be I believe at the end of this month which is February the 28th so let's just put that in so that's the 28th of February okay um, the account the debit and the credit so I've already started with the bank and the way that I would do it is to link the accounts and I'll show you how to do that so let's just go back into the ledgers so my next account that I want to put on my um, trial balance is supplies Right. So instead of typing it again, what you could do is just type um, equals two, go back here, and click on that, press enter, and there it is. Importantly now, that's got a debit amount, so I'm going to type equals two, go back to the supplies ledger, and I'm going to use the last amount there, and I'll, and I'll explain why later. Right. Now, that's really important. Uh, for a couple of reasons, just in case you've made a mistake, let's just say for argument's sake I've made a mistake and I should have been 300 in there, right? the supplies, the final balance changes there but also changes in there and that's the beauty of linking these accounts so you don't have to type it twice. Right? And also for the other purpose is you can use this ledger uh, setup again complete with the trial setup so for argument's sake, next time you use it, if you change that name to something else, like um, stationary, you press enter and go to the trial balance, hey presto, it's changed its name to stationary. So it's all very nice uh, in terms of being an efficient Excel user. But obviously I don't want that, so I'm just going to go Control Z twice. So I'm just doing that for demonstration purposes. So I've done supplies, now I'm going to put in wages, and I'm going to continue with this process. So I'm going to show you a couple of times again, equals to, go back to your ledgers tab, type, press in that box, press enter. I want the debit balance, and this is where you have to be careful that you don't mix up your sides, otherwise um, you won't balance. I'm going to use that last amount, okay, and so on. I'm just going to pause here for a second and said I've put the rest of the trial balance accounts in. Now the crucial thing here, will it balance up? So all these debits are equal with these credits. Now the way I've set up my spreadsheet, um, the, the same amount of minuses should equal those same amount of pluses. So I'm going to uh, use auto sum, it's only wanting to do that, so I'm going to take my cursor and spread it over the number of um, cells that I want to have added up and then simply in order to get the same formula in the next box uh, I, I go when this little plus sign goes thin to the black thing go across right and you'll see that both sides are equal okay um, and I normally do underline the end in the in Excel they've got some nice little features there um, and if you want you can underline a few other things to make them look a bit more uh, neater and presentable. Okay, So there you have it, there's your trial balance. Another lesson done.